Nowadays, the cellular network is an important part of our daily life alongside with the LTE network and Wi-Fi. Cellular network topology basically consists of base station, relay network and destination device. Base station can be simply classified as a signal source of internet services provider to their customer. On the other hand we have the destination device, which can be treated as a receiver. In the present day, especially in the capital city or industrial area which have a high number of mobile phone user. The interference among the user is unavoidable. Also, a deflection from the building and settlement within those area which make a situation getting worse. To solve these problem, this is where the relay network comes to play. Relay network is a broad class of network topology commonly used in wireless networks, where the source and destination are interconnected by means of some nodes. Relay system has a dependency on the distance on both base station and destination device. Theoretically speaking, in order to minimize the loss from the environment around the destination device the location of the relay system should be exactly between the base station and destination device using the midpoint assumption, right? Well, it isn't. Sort of. According to our study of correlation between signal-to-noise ratio and path loss exponent shows that those statement doesn't appears to be completely true at all. But before we go anywhere further, let's take a look at another side project of our group first. <laughs> Nowadays, SIT student has to face poor weather, especially from PM 2.5. Therefore, they need some air quality monitoring to prepare ourselves from the weather. Our air quality monitoring using particulate PM2.5 detector has two main materials which are known as light and sensory and SPS30. Real-time data from the sensor sends on the cloud to your computer and mobile phone. We make sure the measurement by calibrated it with reliable official monitoring. Our quality monitoring coming soon.